So here we are up at the trade deadline of the 22-23 season. Four, or sorry, 44-14-4. I was going to say 14 first. It's a lot of fours. You have to forgive me. We are just having a great season. Not a tremendous lineup, but it is earlier on. And for some reason, weaker lineups, especially earlier on, seem to do well. And, well, sometimes stacked lineups do poorly. So, I mean, the game's shit. Let's, let's all be real. This game is shit, but we play it anyway because it's our only option. Speaking of our only option, your only option right this moment is to hit that like button. Ah! Look at that advertise. That's brilliant. That was a brilliant plug right there. The segue was clean. So do that. Do it right now. <laughs> can't say the can't say the outro to that one was was too good but hey whatever um I, I, speaking of outros i totally forgot to show the progress reports at the end of last video so here we go let's take a look at that now reese is declining uh oh that's actually some natural growth from uh Holglander, just a bit to his puck skills not exactly the greatest Paton, probably nothing. Hunt is done. What am I even clicking on him for? Hughes, this might be... Okay, well, he's going to get more stack growth most likely after this year anyway. Hopefully Dermot. That is natural growth. Bit to his puck skills. And one to his durability. Can't say that's the most exciting development from the guy, but hey. Oops. Uh, put Coles in. It's aware ah, that's actually really good. <laughs> yeah, his offensive awareness went up by two. I'm cool with that, as well as defensive awareness going up. So you know what? That's actually decent development. Other than that, I don't think we're gonna see a whole lot more. A little bit to slap shot power for Juleson. And that's about it. But here's the interesting part. Yakupov is now up to 54. I think he was near that before. Maybe a little bit more growth here or there. Jagger Marlowe up to 77 now. From 70 to 77. That's pretty damn good growth out of one year. I love it. Ben was up to 78. Holy crap. Yeah, they might actually both be ready next year, which is tremendous. I didn't think it would happen. I thought it would take at least an extra year. Let's hope they actually will both be ready for... Jagger Marlowe might be a bit more difficult simply because, you know, you'll be looking at... Uh, like third line and you have to kind of build a decent third line around it. But we should still have put Coles in. And then we can figure someone else out in there, I'm sure. Benoit is going to be easy enough that we may have to end up competing with Kai Gorodov, but we'll see what happens. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Gaucher is up to 73. Holy crap, his offensive awareness went up a shit ton. That's kind of good, actually. Uh, his shot, it's way more powerful than anything else, but dude, our growth has just been phenomenal. Absolutely incredible. Kai Gorodov is NHL ready. Like, it's not even depth. He's listed as top six. I should bring him up because he's going to get, uh, the, the, the locker room's fine and he's going to get power play time. So definitely going to call him up. DPH are now also listed as backup. He'll wait. We'll wait on him. Yeah. Because we don't really need him to get much better anyway. So yeah, this, this growth, this, this year was absolutely insane. The only person we're missing is Jet Wu, but at this point he's likely just going to be a top six guy. So hopefully he'll get there. Just need some jumps in the offseason. No growth for Seelovs either. A bit unfortunate, but eh, it's, again, yet another goalie who's, you know, ceiling is essentially backup or a spot starter. <laughs> All right, well, that's incredible growth. I'll give you guys a look at the, uh, the draft class as well, since that's another thing I failed to do in the last one. Um, not too sure. I got Scary Carry here. Isn't Bedard franchise? I can't remember, actually. But he's projected later, so I don't think he's franchise anymore. Anyway, um, there's a high elite defenseman here. But unlikely to get our hands on him. Craig Willis, that seems like a real guy. <laughs> I love <laughs> Oscar Clefbaum. <laughs> Left winger Oscar Clefbaum. Sniper. That's someone who I might... Well, it's a sniper. That's the thing, man. There is a power forward here, high six, but it is a power forward. After that, it looks like it kind of, yeah, it'll drop off after that, so. High top six, but it honestly might be beneficial to get our hands on yet another goal scorer. Because Garland's one thing, but. Oh, crash the net, what the hell, crash the net. Oh man, are those his max, ooh, he doesn't have his own ability? It's listed as a gem though. Very interesting. I have no clue what Scott Carey is. I, com I completely forgot. <laughs> That's fine. 
But yeah, we're going to probably want to try to move up here somewhere. The problem is, it's not exactly the greatest stuff here. There's a, Okay, here's a couple low franchises. There we go. Tabernacolo and Rant McKenzie. Yanni Hellenus. <laughs> this is like the blast from the past names here in this one, huh? All right, well, there's a lot, there's a lot we can uh, potentially get our hands on. Anyway, that was, was that not, yeah, that wasn't sorted by potential. Anyway, we're going to sort by potential here. You can kind of see what's going on. We don't have any steals lined up yet. There's some possibles, a couple possibles. Uh, low elites, do I have anything? Yeah, nothing. Yeah, I cannot wait to get a good scouting team. <laughs> it's not too good right now. So that's about it. But now... We move on here deciding what to do at the uh, trade deadline here. Now, one thing I will do is first, this will help me decide what the heck I want to do. I'm going to call up Kai Gorodov. Uh, I don't have to send anyone down, actually. That's nice. Oh, wait. Do, or do I? No, I don't. Okay, I'm going to call up Kai Gorodov. Go to edit lines. I can just stuff someone in there for now. Yeah, I'll be fine. I don't care. Get in there. All right. And what I want to do is see... What? Oh. See where Kai Gorodov will fit into the scheme. Really solid. Yeah, he's not, he likes it. He's a, he's a pinch shoot guy. Current coach is whole line shoot. Interesting. So... We could throw him in for Pullman. Who's being paid way too much, but that's not a huge, huge deal right now. Another thing, someone was, people were suggesting, or at least one person trading Tyler Myers. Pullman is obviously a contract you'd love to get out of there, but we don't aren't really in that situation where we need to. If anything, you can move Hunt, and then hold on to Pullman. Uh, he's actually worse for chemistry. It's kind of hope, but I mean, he's not anything negative from being here. Plus six. Him and Dermot have been doing just fine together. What if we put Kai Gorodov in here? What would that net us? It would give us a bit of chemistry. If you have him down there, not as much. Yeah, he's listed as top six. We're going to give him some top four time. I think it'll be fine. With the chemistry, I kind of like having him there. We'll give him a taste of the NHL and a role that's pretty good. We're going to leave Myers and Hughes together. Yeah, that doesn't make sense to break him up anyway. Hughes is also pinch shoot, so that's kind of nice. Both of these guys pinch shoot, so we kind of, we'll have to see what uh, Dylan Benoit ends up being, but that could be something that we want to do here. So I think we'll go ahead and trade Hunt here. We'll keep Pullman around. He'll help us get to the cap floor. That that salary won't be an issue uh, in, in, for long, as long as the, uh, the term is. So we can move out Hunt. Myers we could trade at the draft, but I don't want to weaken us going into the playoffs, right? I want to keep, you know, on course. We want to keep guys growing. We want to keep guys getting better. That's our goal right now is to build a sustainable future. But we're definitely not going to make ourselves worse right here. We can trade Myers at the draft, though, because he's got the extra year. We can retain whatever. Doesn't matter. Alrighty, um, I don't think we're going to have a ton of value on Hunt. Eh, he's got a little bit. He's on last year. This is a good time to trade him anyway. Alright, the Winnipeg Jets want him. Sure. What do you give me for him? A third? I would love that. Could you? They might give me a third. Oh! Sweeten the value just a touch. Okay, well, we should have some trash that we could throw in. Right? Or do I not? I thought I drafted some trash. Oh, there's that guy. Any goalie trash? I don't think so. Uh, Yeah, there's a French starter. I don't know if that'll be enough. That will be. Okay, cool. Alright, so we got a third for Hunt and a trash goalie. Apparently, Bo Horvat liked him. <laughs> oh, wow. People don't like the captain being sad, I guess. All right, whatever. So that's that. We've got ourselves another X. I think that's like three thirds now, which is probably way too many. But we can use them to move up if we need. And we have eight picks total. We're lacking a six and a seven. 
which we could pick up if we want to, or load up earlier picks. So, like, all of this trash right here. Where the fuck are you? Ah, he's a playmaker. If he was, like, maybe a role player, I'd hold on to him because he's growing pretty well, but nope. All right, let's throw in these three guys. We could probably get a six and a seven from this area. If we really wanted to, well, we can get a... S all right. Try that. Probably not even worth a six and a seven. Oh, they were. Cheering in the streets. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Uh, I don't think so there, buddy, but okay. I would love to get another one or two, but I don't think we're going to be able to swing that with the value we have here. The starter guy, this guy, doesn't have much value. The elite has a bit. Oh, good. They're actually looking like they've decreased the value once again for elite goaltenders. Good. Fucking good. They had too much. This could get me a second. But unless we're aware of something good coming in the second, there's no point to do that right now, right? So, the... we're going to hold on to Yakupov for now, although we do have Horvat. He's a guy, I'm not going to, again, I'm not going to trade him right now, but that's easily a guy we could move. Low four, Henry, 57 and 18 years old. He's kind of built well, so I want to hold on just in case. It's another right D, though, so it's essentially him and him or Jet Wu. So... Don't need him as much. This guy can go. Anyone want him? Probably not. Alright, let's just send him somewhere. How about Dallas? What the fuck? I was hoping for a four. Just a four from anyone. Oh my god, of course. Why is it every time I'm looking for a specific pick that literally no one has? I don't think we're getting a four for him, but I'm trying. Alright, we'll get a four. Cool. It worked, so we got a one, two, three threes, three fours, quite a lot. It's ten picks total, so we could have a two more and a lot more in the first two rounds, but, um, you know, we'll cross that bridge, like, at the draft. Like, we don't really have much, much other value to give up right now, because we're essentially not tanking, like, right, we're, we're not tanking, we're not gonna load up, but we're not tanking, you know? So, that's what we're going to do now. And that'll be the deadline. Did I do any extension? Oh, that's right, Besser. So, that's something we have to really consider now. What the hell do we do with Besser? That's another reason I'm like, I should grab a sniper. I mean, they're kind of the ones I need anyway. Snipers. I was thinking power forwards, but now we have two of them. Um, snipers are really the ones that we're going to need. I do like that Hoaglander is kind of a goal scorer, but he's also a role player. I like him, but he's likely going to be third liner. So, we need to think about... Like, who we're going to get to put some pucks in the back of the net. Obviously, there is Besser. Yes, he's not, like, a premier, premier goal scorer, but he's that. We definitely, I think I definitely want to try to get our hands on that sniper. That'll just help a lot, I feel like. We got a playmaker. Get our hands on a sniper. We have, our defense is pretty set now. It's all about forwards for us, so. Yeah, that's likely what we're going to do. We could use the Myers value. Maybe that Yakupov guy. Maybe the goaltender. We should be able to make it work. It just depends on can we move for a pick that's up there. That that will be a bit tricky, perhaps, but we'll see. All right, anyway, that will be the trade deadline for us. And now we're going to finish this season off and get ourselves to the pluffs. To the pluffs. All righty. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And continue simming. Alrighty. Whoa. Whoa. Apparently Carlson number one was in Columbus. What the fuck did What? I, I don't even remember. Shouldn't that have been a blockbuster trade sending Carlson to Columbus? Apparently not. Anyway, um, but Columbus grabs Savoie and Sundstrom for Eric Carlson. That's an insane return for Columbus. Guess Minnesota really wants to win now. Matt Benning is on waivers. What a trade. All right. We continued to win games. More shutouts. Holy shit. That's your Demko. Um, I'll do some scouting real quick. All right. Continuing on here. And uh, 50 win season. 
<laughs> couple losses there against Edmonton. I, we're not going to hit 60, but if we, we might stay below. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Pulled groin out till the 26th of April. God damn it. Holy, what a time for that injury to happen, huh? Sutter gets to hop in. That sucks. Oh, boy. That's a rough one. We were doing so, so good. So, of course, something like that has to happen. Oof. All right, well. <laughs> Maybe we will have 20 reg losses. We haven't been doing too good here at the end. Yep, we did get 20 reg losses. It was not a great end of the season. Taking on LA in the first round of the playoffs here. Not a great way to end the season. But we will have home ice advantage here in this first round. Hughes had a great season. We still got first. We may have even got first in the NHL. I'm not too sure. 3 4 1 2 3 8. Like our, our ratio was still incredible. Power play dropped a lot. Penalty kill was good. It went up. 14 shorties 4. That's kind of insane. 4 3 and 3 in the last 10. Yeah, not good. Not good in the last 10, but we're going to see how we stacked up. I we actually we still won the president, so it's like rough end of the season and all. We we're still good. Number one offense. Number one defense by quite the margin. Power play definitely went down, but it's actually top five. And penalty kills top three. <laughs> Probably had the yeah, easily had the most shorties. Good gracious. Okay, um... <laughs> President's Trophy Vancouver Canucks. I, I don't know what to say. Um, Bo Horvat led the way in points, so prepare yourself for some stat growth, motherfucker. And we just locked him into f to a longer-term 5 mil deal. Like, yeah, I, I'm very, very happy with the way that worked out. Pedersen had 67 points. Strom was 66. Still pretty damn good. He is injured, though. Man, he could have maybe hit 70. Had he not missed six games there. Besser was 63, almost 30 goals. Hoaglander, 62, almost 30 goals. Garland was 60 points. Gagne had 56, which is hilarious. He actually should get stat growth because of this. I would be fucking surprised if he didn't. Damn. I don't think he's, he's extended. It's on that one year. 41 points rookie season for Petkolsen. Not bad. Exactly 0.5 points per game. Reeves actually had 31 points. Some fights and stuff, of course. All right, defensively, Hughes, 79 points. Not bad. How did Kai Gorodov do? Three assists in 20 games play. He was a plus seven. Looks like he fought and took a couple minors. Not too bad. Dermott had 27 points. Myers had some. Look at that plus minus between Hughes and Myers, though. <laughs> what a hilarious pairing. And then Thatcher Demko putting up what I think is a Vezina caliber season. Despite the injury he faced, still played 55 games, played almost 40 wins. 9-2-4, 2-2-6. And Lankinen did tremendous as the backup. He had th we had 13 shutouts for our goalies this season. That's, I don't, is there, like, I, I mean, wh how, when's the last time a team has shut out opponents 13 times in a single season? That seems really high. It's one of those weird micro stats that it seems high, but you're going to go back and figure out like 50 years ago, some goaltender had 13 shutouts of his own in one season, <laughs> which de definitely seems like it could be the case. Anyway, wow. What a year. What a year. Let's see what happened across the rest of the league. Sidney Crosby says, step aside. I'm still one of the best. 114 points, 51 goals. Man, did he actually win the... Dude! He's taking home the Rocket Richard. He's taking home the Art Ross. Probably taking home the Hart as well, as well as Ted Lindsay. My goodness. Good on you, Sid. Good on you, man. Where the hell is Ovi? Oh, wow. He only had 38. He was kind of injured, but... Only missed 10 games. Like, was he only going to have 40 goals? It's kind of nuts. Assist leader, Kaprizov was 69. Nice. All righty, let's see the game winners. Crosby had, I mean, one out of five goals. It's put Colson. One, one of two of his goals was a game winner. But Colson's the most clutch. Oh, baby. All right, power play goal leader. McKinnon with 19. Power play point totals. Probably, yep, dry saddle. Dry saddle and McDavid all the way at the top. Shorties. I'm surprised none of our guys are up there. What the hell? Five, sh <laughs> four shorties for Reeves. What? 
If, what the fuck? How many goals did he have? Man had 17 goals. Four of them were shorties. 17? What the hell? Hold on. We just glossed over the fact Ryan Reeves was almost 20 goals. in was 17 goal season. What the fuck? All right, anyway. um, <laughs> Pretty damn good. Uh, Gagne's up there, too. Shorty points. There, Hoaglander, Gagne. There you are. Horvat. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we are. All right. Pretty insane. Okay. All right. Let's see. Who are the favorites? So, of course, O'Reilly to Ver... Nah, not really. Uh, O'Reilly, front runner by a mile. Bergeron's up there. It's probably going to be O'Reilly. Cros wow, Crosby's actually up there. Well, this is plus minus. You never know. Kopitar, Couturier, Barkov, pretty much all the usual suspe suspects early on. All right, defensively. Yep, Quinn Hughes from Norris, baby. Hands down. Even if someone had, like was point per game or even above point per game like the plus minus would have just catapulted him so Hughes will win that Norris vindicating Canucks fans in their delusions that he's better than Makar and Fox uh, um gold senders that's all we need to see from defenseman god damn it I went to 60 it's gotta be 50 here we are I think we got it mmm hella suck that's a, that's gonna be a close call. That's a tough one, but I mean to be fair, Demko has five more shutouts and eleven less games played. <laughs> a similar save percentage, .01 differential and a .04 differential here between goals against. I still feel like it should go to Demko, and we're gonna give a tie to Hellebuck and Demko for sure when it comes to uh, the predictions, because that's that has to be like that is legit has to be a tie between those two. Yeah. Well, great season for him. Hopefully Demko can do it in the playoffs here. Rookies, it'll be Marco Rossi, who missed a game at the end. Looks like he'll be injured going into the playoffs, but at 64 points, 22 goals, 42 assists, and was a minus. Uh-oh. Did Minnesota trade Savoie and another guy for Eric Carlson in, in a situation where they're not in the playoffs? I hope that's not the case. Uh, Ready rookie goalies making a splash. Knight did pretty good. <laughs> uh, Tarasov did pretty damn good. Gustafson. Actually, Gustafson did insanely well. Those numbers are ridiculous. All right. And Kosa. Okay. Well, not enough to take away, you know, 64-point rookie year for uh, Rossi. So, hits. No one even hit 200. Weak sauce. Absolutely weak. Fights. Reeves was 16, baby. Tough. Tough guy. Barry McEwen, DeLaurier, blah, blah, blah. Not a whole lot going on there. Well, let's check. Let's see, hope we see Minnesota there. Nope. Oh, no, yeah, there they are. <laughs> They're taking on the Blues in the first round. Colorado taking on the Avalanche. Or Colorado taking on the Oilers. There we go. Uh, Vegas and Calgary, and then us against L.A. In the East, Rangers, Canes, Pens, and Jackets. Uh, Lightning. <laughs> Never, never making the bolts happen. Sorry. Lightning versus the Wings and the Panthers versus the Isles. All right. So there's your playoff tree. I will before we actually get much further. I'm going to check out the growth one more time because we may have had some more. Kai Gordov should be up here. Probably didn't grow a whole heck of a lot. Can't. Don't really remember. In the system, however, Yakupov's up to a 56 now instead of a 54. So he's grown more. Kozlov doesn't matter. Jagger, Marlowe. He grew up a slightly more. He was at 77 before, so he still grew. Benoit stayed the same, but really, it's okay. Gaucher, I think he was at 73, so not a ton more. Yeah, not a ton more. All right. Let's see what LA is going to offer us, huh? What? Okay. I could have gone either way. Probably the other way is faster, but whatever. We're there. Turcotte, Kopitar, I'm going to see you. Kempe, Velarde, Kaliev, Wagner, Kupari, Lazat. Grinstrom, Anderson, Anderson, Dolan. Damn, Canadian. I was like, Swede? Swede? Anderson, Dolan? Uh, maybe? Nope. Nope. That's why Sweden can't have nice things. Uh, Geo, Dowdy, Anderson, Walker, Bjornfoot, and Spence. Quick and Peterson. Either your Peterson, whatever. Either one that goes to, it's pretty solid. Go Goaltender? The fuck is he doing up 
Oh, is he like, he must be Canadian? No, he's American. Why, why didn't they send him back down? What the fuck is he doing? Hey, well, Qu Quentin Byfield's injured, who's 88, by the way. So they have a much better lineup. Weak on the wings, but they're strong down the middles. The middles. The plural. All, both the middles. All of the middles. All right. Pedersen, Horvat, Besser. Yeah. <laughs> We're missing a pretty big piece. Uh, help us, Thatcher Demko. You're our only hope. <laughs> oh, boy. We're, we'll get him back towards the end of the series, but we got to start off on a good foot here. So come on, Vancouver. Come on, Thatcher Demko. Hold my advantage. Hey, <laughs> Thatcher Demko shuts him out 3 nothing. Oh, Thatcher Demko. <laughs> He's too good. He can't score. Two games to none. Game three. Oh, we lost. Offense dried up a bit, but defense and goaltending was still there. Don't let him tie it up. Game four. Yeah, there we go. Holy crap, Thatcher Demko. 3-1 to one series lead. Game five. And we're off to the second round, and Ryan Strom's back. Hope you enjoyed your vacation, buddy. Get back in there. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right. Our uh, AHL team made it. And taking on Calgary in the second round. A Canadian battle. Let's check out some points. Paton leading in points. Interesting. Right now, MVP is Demko. We already, we already know that. Uh, two points. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had this. I don't think I've ever had this. 2.6 and then a point eight. <laughs> Ooh, penalty kill sucks. But uh it's it's the Thatcher Demko show right now. <laughs> That's so stupid. That's so stupid, man. He might just carry us all the way. Look at this, look at the scoring. It's Patan and Chase on at the top, then Pedersen, Horvat, but Coles and Garland, Gagne, Besser. Yeah. Not we need more scoring. Hopefully now with Strom back, we get that more scoring. <laughs> oh my god that's your demko good lord trade for that man in your franchise mode good gracious good joe at uh lindholm to foley kachuk backland dube manjapani monahan coleman yeah this is a lot scarier this is a lot scary we have strom back now which makes it a bit more evenly matched but they probably have that advantage Defensively, they're a bit more balanced, so I'd argue their advantage too. Goaltender is pretty much tied. Okay, we may have met our match here in the second round, but you never know. Thatcher Demko is inhuman. It's all on you, baby. See if we can get going again. Get that top six rolling. Game one, home ice advantage. Six to two loss, not good. Game two. <laughs> he answers back with a shutout. <laughs> He's stupid. He's so good. One to one series now on the road here in in the is are they still at the Saddle Dome? I don't know. Oof, four to three loss. Game four. Uh, five to three loss. Now we're struggling to keep the puck out and we can't score enough, so we got to mix some things up here. Got to mix some things up. Our whatever the hell is going on here is not working. We're gonna switch Strom and Horvat. Ugh. They're just severely minus. I wonder if I did a wholesale switch. They still get plus five, but they get better matchups, maybe? Could also do that. Keep Pet Go Pedersen, Strom, Garland, then Hoagland or Horvat, Besser. It, it gives... I don't know if... Some of people say chemistry doesn't matter in the playoffs. I don't, I don't know why that would be. <laughs> I think it only doesn't matter when you go into the sim or like the the tech sim. I'm not too sure. Anyway, we're gonna do. We're just mixing shit up anyway. All right, Kai Gordov. He's a plus at least. Minus is here. Hughes. That's bad. That chemistry right there. Kind of unsure as to why it's so bad though. Is it lying to me? It is not. Okay, we're not going to do that then. That doesn't do much. Yeah, we'll just, leave, we'll just leave the defense. Fortunately, Demko, yeah, his numbers got a bit worse. But it's not really on him. We got we to play a bit better. Again, we may have just met our match. We're down three games to one here. 
Game five. Different lines. We'll see what happens. Nah, we lost in overtime, so there you go. Season ends right there. It's it was kind of a, that was a better team than us. I got no problem losing them. <laughs> they were a better team. Like this, it, like this was winnable. Obviously, this was probably winnable. Like yeah, it, it was you know maybe closer than the five game series indicates. But yeah, we still didn't have enough to get the job done. We didn't get enough scoring from our top guys, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. We need more like you know offensive firepower. Great, you know, the defense is nice and all. Thatcher Demko's great, but going to need some more help back there. So, the season ends in the second round. Uh, Eastern Conference Finals, Western Conference Finals, you get a look at it right there. Ooh, the battle for Alberta as a conference finals. That's so sick. Imagine the hype behind that in real life, dude. Just imagine the level of hype. Good God. NHL would love it because they wouldn't have to fucking market it. Because <laughs> they hate marketing. They're so bad. I don't know if they hate it. They just are really, really bad at it. Besser still doesn't... <sighs> Besser still doesn't want to come back. We may be forced into trading the guy. Which I'm not excited about. But it is what it is. I don't know. <sighs> Alright, well. I guess we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, but... Next video will be the draft here, which we still got some stuff to do. I think, yeah, we're going to, I think Myers is going to be out the door. If you think about it, Kai Gorodov's already hitting the NHL. Benoit's right behind him. We got Dermot. We got Hughes. Like, it's looking pretty good. We may need someone to spot fill in that top two just so we don't play guys out of their roles, but that should be easy enough. Yeah. And who knows? Maybe we don't get enough for Myers. Maybe we just hold on to Myers because... <laughs> him and him and Hughes play pretty well together so why the hell not just run that contract out who knows we'll cross again we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. the main thing is we know what we want to move up for here at the draft and we're going to take all the steps necessary to do just that so let me know what you guys think about it hit that like button and I'll see you in the next one